close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then again, in and out, in and out. Try to get the mind to settle down here. Get the mind in good shape. It's been scattered around. Thinking about this, thinking about that, worrying about this, remembering that. Try to gather everything here together. And exercise it. This is how you get the mind in good shape. You give it exercise to do it. Each time the mind leaves the breath, you just bring it right back. That's an exercise in mindfulness and alertness. Mindfulness is what remembers. This is what we're here to do. Alertness is what watches what's actually going on. And it's the alertness that really gives the mind together with the ardency. That's what gives the mind its exercise. You can be remembering things, but if you don't even notice what's going on, there's no way you can cure the situation. And if you're not really ardent, sometimes you say, well, what the hell, just keep going wherever you're going. You don't want to have that attitude. You have to be alert and ardent that you're going to stay right here, because this is your life. I mean, it comes out of your mind. If your mind isn't trained, what kind of shape is your life going to be in? You've got to put the mind in shape. That puts the rest of your life in shape, too. Because you can learn all kinds of things and keep them in mind, but if you're not really alert to what you're doing, and if you're not ardent in fixing things and making them better, that knowledge doesn't have much impact, doesn't have much of an effect. So these are the qualities that get your mind in good shape and keep it in good shape. And from a mind in good shape, okay, what the things you say, the things you do, the things you think are going to shape your life in the right way, too. So remember, you do have this power to change your mind, and you can change it for the better. That opportunity is there all the time, so make the most of it. And people sometimes look back on their lives and they regret this, they regret that, but they don't never regret the energy that was put into doing something good. And so you can put that synergy into training your mind. And that has an impact that ripples out through the whole rest of your life, because the mind is what shapes what you do and say and think, and that's going to have an impact on the people around you and the situation around you. And if you can shape everything for the better, and then there's no regret, regret at all. The day has passed, but it hasn't passed without gaining something from it, gaining good qualities in the mind. So it's a simple lesson, but it's hard to keep in mind, and it's hard to be alert, and it's hard to be ardent. So put the energy into it. Even though it may be hard, it's worth the effort to put in, because that's how all things good in life are attained.